So a couple weeks ago, I went to go watch Captain America Civil War. I got to see Black Panther in action, in 3D. Then there was the, all the internet buzz. Twitter was lit. Everybody changed their name to some version of T'Challa. And I was like, oh, so now it's cool to be from Wakanda. Now everybody want to be from Wakanda. Y'all fake. I need to speak my piece. Hey, YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. To be fair... As a child, I was never bullied for being African to any sort of detrimental degree. I made friends wherever I went, never hindered my education or anything like that. Life is cumulative, et cetera, et cetera. I'm Gucci and now I'm on the other side, I'm good. But I've been clicked at, okay? Clicked. People have clicked at me, like as a joke. Oh, what y'all speak in Africa? Y'all speak African? Click, click, click. Firstly, don't speak to me in Automatopoeia, fam. Meanwhile, you can't spell Automatopoeia. Meanwhile, I'm beating you in every standardized test. Meanwhile, you don't know the perimeter of a rectangle, but you 17. Please, reevaluate your life. Being from Wakanda wasn't cool in 97, y'all. Let's fast forward to high school. In 05, did nobody want to be from Wakanda? Every Nigerian teenage boy just went by an initial. Teacher calling role. Uh, talu, talu, I go by T. How many times has someone asked you if you understood what they were saying in the beginning of Lion King? So many monkey jokes. Oh, and don't forget the three infamous words that we have all heard hurled at us on playgrounds from coast to coast. African booty scratcher. But now you want to be T'Challa. Now you want to be from Wakanda. Now Wakanda lit. Now you don't get to be T'Challa. You don't get to be from Wakanda. And to be honest, can I just be honest? Just a little, can I be honest? It was, it was mainly black kids. Y'all was the main ones making fun of us Africans. Y'all was the main ones. And as an adult, now, I get it, I read books, but as a child, I'm saying as a child, it was so frustrating. So you're just gonna, so you're just gonna make fun of, meanwhile, all the insults also apply to you. Okay, they don't, all right. And I felt like as a young, impressionable, first generation American, I never understood why they attacked me. We're wearing the same baby fat jeans, player, okay? Like we're wearing the same boots with the fur. I play my role, I'm trying so hard. While I'm sure kids now still experience the same sort of teasing that I endured growing up, the truth of the matter is, a girl went to prom with a daishiki prom dress and we all collectively agreed that it was popping. Can I tell you, 10 years ago, prom? That would have never happened. What a time to be alive. The point of this video is actually to tell my African brothers and sisters, my internet cousins watching this, that if your story is similar to my story and you were teased for being African, you have to let it go. Let it go, drop it. Sure, they called you African booty scratcher and now it's hashtag Melanin Mondays. I know, it hurts, I know, but you gotta let it go because if you don't, you're gonna end up like this guy. You don't wanna be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. In the comments below, I want you to be honest. Were you the teased or the teaser? Let's reconcile. Let's, re let's hug it out, actually. Okay, you're breathing on my neck. All right. Seemed like everybody want to be T'Challa, and that's okay. I'm not bitter anymore. This is me getting it out. It don't matter when you get here, as long as you get here. Okay, Umoja. Know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'll see you in 2018 for this Black Panther movie. Everybody been making jokes about how the concession stand gonna be lit. All right, my plate is gonna be uh, an amalgamation of, of jollof rice, jambalaya, and pilau. We all make rice, it's all rice. But in the meantime, I'll see you on the internet somewhere. Bye. Oh, hey, ha, didn't see you there. Uh, anyway, um, if you want to watch another magical black first generation American, hit the annotation up there and watch Just Call Me Waz video called African Booty Scratcher. A plus. If you want to support a YouTube channel by black girls who are into Captain America, comic books, video games, and other nerdy things like such as, hit the annotation again and watch Pretty Brown and Nerdy on YouTube. See you on the internet for real.